we, my husband and I, have a, a testimony that it's an old testimony that we never really say anything about. But years after years, we um, continuously to be very, very thankful of what God has done in our lives through this church, through Bishop, through Pastor Chris. And for some reason yesterday, we felt heavily as we woke up in the morning that we should talk about it. And it has to be today. And today is Thanksgiving Day. So we're going to try to be brief. I'm shaking. <laughs> okay. So this is about 20, a little bit more than 20 years ago when um, my husband um, won the visa lottery. Um, at that time, we didn't know anybody at all how to find somebody to sponsor us and all that kind of stuff. But in the meantime, he had found a friend who was librarian. And, but they were friends, and after a while, they, they, lost, they lost contact because he, he went to study in another city in Ivory Coast. So as we were going up and down, not knowing what to do, and possibly would let go of that paper, one day he was going to church, and he, that friend saw him and said, hey, Jacob, long time. So as they were talking, he, um, he told him that, well, this is what's happening. Ooh, I'm shaking. <laughs> Man, it's not easy to stay up here. <laughs> I'm grateful that it's not even that full. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Amen, amen. <laughs> so he said, this is what's happening. We got this paper and we, we know anyone. And he said, oh, but my church is also in the U.S. Let me talk to my pastor and see what they can do for you. So where our mind is blown until today, it feels like this happened yesterday for us. This is such a family. I mean, I'm still overwhelmed by it. Um, he talked to Pastor. I'm gonna try to make him talk. He he, he didn't wanna talk. So, <laughs> what's the name again? Pastor Wonderspoon. Wonderspoon. We probably won't pronounce it right. Sorry. So then he called here, because at that time, I think he was in Africa or so in Liberia. Then he called here and talked to, I think, Pastor Musa. I mean, everything was working as if we were some faithful member of the church, that the church felt like they needed to, you know, step in and make it happen. It, it, it was just amazing. Then Pastor Musa took over, um, took over and... Before you know, we have a letter of um, affidavit of support from Brother Dave Dixon. Brother Dave Dixon. Dave Dixon. We never spoke to him. He never even tried to talk to us to see who we are. Are we trustworthy? Can he give all his life information to us? None of the pastors, bishop, trying to even contact us to say, who are you? Why should we help you? This is so amazing for us until today. So God used this church to bless us in a way that we still amaze. Even the day of our departure, we just got a notice, someone will be at the airport waiting for you. And that's it. We just came. As we were coming, we didn't know if the person will come for real or not. We didn't know. I was eight months pregnant. When I got out of the plane, my feet was like one is equal to three people's feet. <laughs> and as we were stepping out, we saw his name written. Uh, Jeremiah Funi. Jeremiah, my brother Jeremiah had his name, Jacob Kofi. We just went to him by faith. 
because at, at that time we used to watch a movie where there were so many human trafficking around. <laughs> so we went to him by faith. We got in his car. He drove almost an hour. And our first stop was at Bethel at that time. From the airport, we came to Silver Spring. Still don't know what our tomorrow will be. Sitting there, my feet is getting bigger, I'm hungry, and yes. <laughs> so um, 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 this family, this church means a lot to us. Bishop, we thank you. This church, this church means a whole lot. This is like home for us. We can go to any harvest church and be dancing and jumping because it don't matter where the harvest church is situated, it's home. Because from every coast, God planned everything. And we were not a member of Bethel at that time. But because we were a, a child of God, we were born again. And so it's family. And we've been here and God has been grateful. From church, he took us to a house with our first food that was Chinese food, chicken fried rice. <laughs> we ate and like, whoa, America, ha! <laughs> <laughs> you know, they give you, they give you cookies they, and the paper inside, like, oh my goodness, what is this? But anyway, my time is, our time is off, but we slept and better harvest, I'm sorry, paid three days hotel because they didn't know where to put us. Three days hotel for us to sleep in. And as we were in that hotel, anyway, we came with no penny in our pocket. A brother, Jeremiah's wife, the food she was bringing us, we were even afraid to eat it. It was powerful. The testimony is long, but this part is what we, would, we wanted to share with you all and to tell someone that you are in the right place. If you feel some kind of way, don't feel that way anymore. This is home. This is home. And when, when, when Bishop been talking about community and family, it's truly family. I bless, we bless the Lord for this ministry. And may God bless you all. Bye. Thank you, Bishop.